and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching The Haunting of Hill House, Season 1, Episode 2. It's called Open Casket. Oh. So, as you, we've already established from the first episode, I'm like, I'm a jumpy person. This is why I do YouTube reactions. I react quite visibly to things so you can expect more of that um probably a lot of pausing when i try and figure out what's going on or recover from something that happened before um welcome to the new subscribers for haunting of hill house if you want to check out my other reactions on the channel there's the leftovers the handmaid's tale castle rock all sorts of stuff go enjoy yourself i'm not going to do a big recap of the last episode because i did a pretty extensive review last time round and i just really want to get into this episode so without further ado let's have at it <gasps> nelly's in the red room nelly's in the red room what did she say oh it's him so this is probably when nell died like they actually woke up the minute that so like whatever is haunting Hill House, there is some connection of awareness throughout all the kids. Whether they've seen a ghost or they've not seen a ghost, they've all been affected by this. Shirley's all about the dancing in the red room. They all woke up at 3.03 .03 in the morning when Nell was dancing in the red room. And we now know Nell's dead, but she visited Stephen. And as much as he says it's a reassuring thing, he didn't know she was dead at that point. He didn't want to see her. I'm sure he'll find a way of rationalising it, though. Okay, it's on. I just, I love these titles. Grandma's dead. I know Grandma's dead. But she still comes to my room at night and she still sits on my bed. And last night was bad. She looked different. Her fingers were purple, she did have teeth, and she did not have hair. I don't want to see her again. Oh, uh, no. So I'm not going to look at her tomorrow, and I don't want to see her in the open castle. The open casket. Why would you want to see her? Like... The thing about an open casket, and I know it sounds scary, is that it's a great chance to take all of those pictures in your head of grandma in the hospital or grandma without her hair or teeth or anything else in your imagination and cover it all up with a better picture. I'm gonna fix her. That's what I do. How? First, we give her a bath, make sure she's clean and soft. Oh. Then we put special chemicals in so she stays fixed forever. Then we put her in her favorite clothes. And finally, I take extra special care to make sure she looks just like she's supposed to. So when I'm done, she will look just like she always did, just like you remember her, just like she's supposed to. I could not do that job. I just, I could not do it. This is our forever house. You made this? I designed it, yeah. I designed them and... Daddy built them. Power couple. I see a family running to a dinner table from all three directions. This That's dining lovely. room is the heart of the house. Everything flows in and out, so Every house needs a heart, and this is ours because that's where we spend the most time together. I don't see any of that. For the time. When you're little, you learn how to see things that aren't there. And when you grow up, you learn how to make them real. What did she just say? Honey, what did she just say? When we finish fixing up this house... And sell it for a lot of money, you don't miss a thing, yes. Then we're gonna build the forever house. And we won't have to move 
ever again. <sighs> Surely, will you please have a tea party with me? Everyone keeps saying no. no. Sweetheart, I'd love to have a tea party with you, <laughs> but I have to finish working, I'm afraid. <laughs> How about we play outside instead? But when I flash the porch light twice, time to come home. That's the rule. Okay, go have fun. That was the best mum look ever to Shirley there. Just like, you're playing with her. How nice does the house look today? Did you know that princesses and queens and kings had tea parties? It's very grown up and sophisticated. Sophisticated. I love baby now. I'm still looking for ghosts in every corner of every shop, by the way. This just seems idyllic. Where does it all go wrong? Oh no, is this where he sees that woman in the woods? That master key you had didn't work. You have any other ideas about that, that red door upstairs? Oh, afraid not. Not, not, not. Pulled. That was the point I was supposed to make. I didn't realize from the titles until, it wasn't even what I edited it, it was where I watched the uploaded video back to make sure that everything had worked out on the thing. I realized that door that the girls, uh, Shirley and Nell couldn't open in the first episode, that's the same door that's in the title sequence, right? So there's something very significant in that room. Obviously we know there's something in that room because we saw the shadows, but I just wanted to let you know I've, I've, I've got it. I made the connection. Pla Whoa, almost. Play. That one. Mm. It's still all within the grounds of the house. It's beautiful. It's like a park. Oh. Oh, it's all the hills. Who screamed? Oh. No. Sounds like a peacock. Have you ever heard a peacock scream? They are loud. Sounds like a kitten, eh? Yeah! Oh. Hi. Oh, I love kittens. Kittens. Did you see that? I saw a face. I saw a face. What the fuck is it? Get the kittens and run! Shirley! No, Shirley! Fuck <laughs> that. Come here, Shirley, you gotta see this. The fuck is it? It's a wasp nest. Built it around this. You know what that is? A mask? Yep, a Halloween mask. Old one. You see? Nothing scary at all. Um. Can we. can we. get the kittens? Especially close to dark like this. Well, we can't just leave them here. But dogs. Dogs? No dogs on the property. Well, sure there are. The kids have been hearing them at night. They've heard them every night since we got here. I couldn't say. The missus and I, we don't stay on the property after dark. But no, I've never seen dogs. Ghost dogs. Come on, Mom. I told you I wanted to be Daredevil. You're killing me. Killing me, Mom. Can't you just decorate that to look like Devil Man? Or Devil. whoever? <laughs> Go upstairs. We're working in here. Watch out for the. Why did she make the fur? We're in the black. We have to do better. Yeah, I mean, you're giving stuff away at cost, below cost. Only for special cases. More than half. No way. More than half of our intakes last quarter were special cases. If it's more than half, it's not special, it's normal. I just wanted to drop these off, like we discussed. Pause. I just had to pause it to turn the lights on because it was a very stormy day outside and I realized it was getting dark in here. That's all. Play. There's some jewelry in here, uh, some pictures of mom, like you asked. Thank you for dropping these by, Bill. Yeah. He's still nervous. He's not there, is he? What the fuck was that? Oh, what? So she was seeing ghosts. 
On the phone you said he had insurance? Right. We thought so. He told us so. And this morning we tried to get the info. It lapsed. We can still do this. We're going to split the cost. He needs to be here. It's fine. Without an insurance policy, it's 6000 a month, and we do recommend a four to six month commitment. Shit! I'm sorry, did you say 6000 A month. That's right. <sighs> I'm sorry, Cheryl. That's I, fine. I, I mean, I could still you do something. You pay me back it. when you're a famous writer. First time, huh? Did you know they have horseback riding? They have horseback riding. Uh, you wait, right. Um, what if, what if they're still... It's okay if you're not clean. We just need to know how dirty. We love you so much. You can do this. Thanks. You got this. Yeah. Yeah. He can do it. He's gonna do it. If only recovery were that easy. Where'd you get those, Allie? At the mall. <clears throat> Practically begged me. She has to be like a cool Aunt Theo. I did not. I don't know. It was weird. Solo account. His name's on the checkbook. So? So we only have joint accounts. I don't know that account. It was just in his briefcase. Ask him. I'm sure it's nothing. What? What? Huh? What do you want? What? Uh, don't you? Why are you banging on the wall? She never said she was not. Asleep. You are. And calling my name. What do you want? The fucking dogs again. What was that? Fuck. What is it? Fucking. What is it? Uh. Hey, what, what's with the screaming? There were these, these loud bangs all over the walls. I d didn't hear it. I don't... It was so loud, how could you not hear it? I believe you. I did like that thing being in the hallway. That, see the statue? Pipes. pipes. Hot water pipes. They're old. They can bang, jump in the walls. I bet that's what this it was. Guy, I tell you. Look. It's over now, right? It's over. <laughs> it's now. It's the middle of the night. She's dead. Shut up. She's dead, it's not, a, it's not a joke. It's so weird. I came home tonight. I was in my living room, and she was... Well, you're wrong. <laughs> Dad called me. Well, he's wrong. It was the last person she called. Bullshit. What did he say? That she killed herself. I, I couldn't really hear him because I... Uh, I saw... No, no. He wouldn't know. She wouldn't... Sure. She wouldn't call Listen. him. Listen! He can't, he can't... Do that again. He can't just not tell us what happened. He can't. Sorry, Cheryl. But she is gone. I told you. I told you she was in trouble. I told you to find her. I told you. I gotta go. You can't keep someone alive who does want to live. That is an impossible challenge. 